Here's a quick video um, about this hard drive that I built for my wife. Um, she's a bit of a video editor, uh, but on a MacBook Air, it's very quickly run out of space and uh, she was complaining about it using Final Cut Pro X. So um, I built one of these, an external hard drive, um, and it's a quick video about it. So on looking at what was available in the market, you only had pretty much within the price range you wanted to pay hard drives like this uh, commonly made by Lacey who specialise in uh, Mac external hard drives however these inside them have got spinning hard drives, magnetic hard drives, very heavy and the really bad thing about it and I've been victim to this a couple of times is if it's turned on powered into the computer and actually being used by the computer if you, and they actually come with a stand that fixes to the bottom so meant to go upright like that and if you have a little accident and it goes you actually while it's while it's working you actually tend to lose uh, all your data I mean I've had it where the whole thing's been unreadable after that point because the hard drive gets damaged inside the magnet uh, magnetic ones and zeros get corrupted and the computer can no longer read it and you lose everything or uh, you know one terabyte or 500 gigabytes worth of room so I wanted to avoid these because they're a bit old-fashioned as well and they're not as fast as the new types of hard drive you get which are called SSD solid state drives so I wanted to avoid these if at all possible um, and I wasn't sure what to go for because on Macintoshes generally you get Lacey, um, there's G-Tech is another firm as well but for all of their SSD offerings you're looking at about 500 to 1000 pounds for any kind of decent size and by size I mean you know we didn't want 100 gigabytes worth I think this has got 100 gigabytes in it anyway or I think about 250 gigabytes something like that and quickly you get through that much space. We're looking for about a terabyte in size, which is a thousand gigabytes, which is probably probably is about as much space as she's going to need for quite a lot of projects. So you know that would be absolutely great, and that would give her enough room to back up all her photos as well if needs be. So we ended up getting one of these instead, and this is a kit. Basically, you get the you get the outer part, the, the kind of the box that it fits in, and inside you get the hard drive. So I'm going to take this, take this apart and show you what it's like inside. And you buy one of these caddies or boxes for it from eBay and this is the SSD drive inside here. So this is a terabyte. I got this off Amazon for about £160 for a terabyte and that's really good. It's ultra, you know, ultra 2 so it's really fast by SanDisk, a good make. And this is the hard the SSD drive and basically you slide it in into this little box here and it just fits into this little connector at the top so it's dead easy to do uh, two minute job for me and you know don't be scared about doing this at all it's not tricky at all so you just push it in there and the last thing you do is you just do these two screws that are supplied just to keep it nicely firmly attached in this plastic tray and then what you do is you let me get this right you slide it in like that into the box and I'll put it in the right way, I'll put it in the right way, that's it, and all the connectors are done for you, you don't need to worry about any of that, that's all supplied by this special board here, so you slot it in, and here's your screws here. And this, this screwdriver is supplied with the kit as well and the screw all screws. So that's it. Now this weighs very light. This is probably about 100 grams, 150 grams, 200 grams. So it's very, very light indeed as opposed to the, the other type of drive which would be more like uh, probably 2 kilograms. So uh, 
you know, it's very half a pound, I think so. It's really, really very good. Um, so, plug it into the computer, you've got a couple of different wires at the back the socket here. That one. And plug that one into the computer there. And away you go, you get a light at the back here to show you when it's working. And it really is very, very, very fast indeed. Um, I'm just running a speed test and it's write speed or read speed here. So the write speed is about 200 megabytes to 300 megabytes write per second write speed. And for read, read speed it's about 350 megabytes per second. So that means that it can write about 2 gigabytes or read about 2 gigabytes every 2 seconds. So it's really very fast. Great for video editing. And that's all using this USB 3 interface which is ultra fast. My wife actually does run it through one of these USB 3 hubs. That could be something you might like to consider. Uh, here it's plugged directly into the Mac. Uh, it's, she's probably going to leave it lying on the desk here because this is where she tends to do her video editing. But it's highly uh, port portable. It doesn't need any power supply. So that's really great. So definitely consider building your own. Don't pay for a company to build it for you because it's a lot cheaper that way and you can choose your own high quality components. Um, Definitely consider getting an SSD one because you can move this around without any fear of it breaking. Um, unlike the older style spinning magnetic hard drives, this is very, very reliable, very robust indeed. If the caddy breaks, that was all £15, so I could just take the drive out and put, it, put a new one in if required and use the drive in a different one. So, very robust, highly recommended. Do this yourself, you can do it.